everyone. Today we're going to draw an apple. I hope you will follow along with us and um, we're going to end up painting it with watercolors, but you can color it with whatever you'd like. You can use markers, crayons, whatever. Um, the full list of materials you'll need to do this apple painting will be in the description. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to just draw the top of the stem here just as a small oval and then a line down and another line down. From this stem part, we're gonna draw a leaf and draw a line out and then a leaf shape. I am gonna add a few little bumps on this leaf. And then this line on the inside here From this point, we're going to draw the inside of the apple. This part of the apple is called the flesh. This is the part that you eat. And then we're going to draw the skin of the apple which is the red part. Next, we're going to draw a straight line down from the stem all the way to this point. And then we're going to come back up and start just a little over here, curve into that middle line, and then back out and then back in again. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. In, out, in. If you need to adjust, you can. I'll use my eraser. Right next, we're gonna draw the seeds in here. So that's just a kind of a teardrop shape. We're gonna draw one on each side. And I put a little highlight on my seed you can draw that in if you want. And that's that's it for the drawing portion, but we're gonna go ahead and take our Sharpie and go over all these lines. You can fix any mistakes that you may have made. As you can see on my sample drawing here, I like to make some of the outer lines a little bit bolder just to show that they're the outside or you also use the bold lines for closer things or where there might be a shadow, you can use darker lines. I'm gonna put some darker lines under this leaf. This has a bit of a shadow. When you go to fill in your seeds, you can color it all black, but just leave that highlight white on your paper. Okay, I think my apple is ready for paint. 
So I'm just going to take my eraser and erase all the pencil lines. And then we're going to take your paintbrush. You can start with, I have some different sizes here. I'm going to start with the smaller one for the stem. So I'm going to take a little bit of brown and start on this side, where it might be a little darker. And then kind of drag it up. It's not too dark on the bottom. You can add some more brown, maybe even a different shade of brown if you have different shades. This top part up here can be darker. Now I'm going to move over to my leaf. I'm going to take some green paint and again I'm going to do some darker down here. And also right in here I'm going to make it a little darker. So again I have a couple different shades of green I'm using but you can just use a single shade of green if you only have one green. Just use less paint to make it light. Like if you just use more water, it looks lighter. And then just go along those lines for the inside of the leaf to make them a little darker and give it a little more dimension. See, I put a little bit of water on there to lift some paint up and then just wipe it on my paper towel here. Okay, I think I'm done with my leaf. Now I'm going to start on the skin of the apple. I'm using red, but you can use whatever color you want. Apples can be yellow or red, green. When we get down here, maybe we can make a little lighter of a spot right up here just to give it a little more dimension, but you don't have to. You can see I'm putting a little darker down here and a little darker right up here and leaving this a little lighter. And I'm done with my red. I am going to go in to this part of the apple, the flesh. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of a bigger brush for that. For this part, we don't want it to be too dark. I just put a little brown on here just to give it a little dimension. Um, so we're just going to make it all wet in here. Cover it with some water, not too much water. You just want the paper a little bit wet. Try to stain the lines as much as you can. And then we just want to take a tiny bit of brown and go along the edge here. You can kind of dab it and it'll start to work its way through. You can see. 
You don't want a lot of brown or your apple's gonna look like a rotten apple. So I'm just doing pretty much the edges. Maybe even in here, you can do a little bit. That's it for that side. I'm gonna go over to this side. Maybe you want it a little darker under this leaf because there will be a shadow here. So when you go in with your brown, we'll go under that leaf a little bit. But we're just making this wet just like we did with the other side. Edges here. Oh, that got a little dark. You just add some more water if it gets a little dark and pick it up with your brush. And wipe it on your paper towel like this. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to go into the next part of our apple here. We're going to do the core. So you can see this is a tiny bit darker than the flesh of the apple. So we're just gonna go ahead and take some brown again, go around the edges. I actually use a little bit of yellow on this inside part of the apple. I'm just gonna dab a little yellow. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And we're mostly using water for this part, just like we did for the flesh part. brown on this side. That's a little much. Okay. I think my apple is finished. I really hope you had fun drawing this apple and painting it. Um, I hope to paint with you again. If you liked painting with me, um, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, you can see some other links below in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye.